What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. Hey, remember, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Behind Curve Cast. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Uh, we got some cool bonus footage up there. Uh, you can take part in polls, kind of help us determine the direction of the channel. And for just five bucks, we'll react to whatever you want us to. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. So this one, this was an overwhelming fan request. Yeah, it was. Um, we just uh, we just put up the uh, the rise cover uh Katy perry's rise cover the super fruit and and friends uh brian and the other people and it was incredible it was awesome but it was damn near every single comment it was people saying you need to see him on america's got talent you need to see him sing radiohead's creep right and yeah when it's you know that many comments all at once the same thing we can't not you know do something about that uh so yeah our hand was kind of forced in this one yeah it was well and i think i think it's genuine because in our initial reaction of Rise, he was like the first thing we talked about. We were like, yeah, Mitch Scott, cool, but this guy. Right. This guy was on some shit. Um, were you a Radiohead fan? Not really. I always go back and forth, because I'm that 90s kid that loved Alternative. I always go back and forth with how much I like Radiohead or not. I more appreciate their guitar tone from the 90s than anything. Um, but Creep is one of those 90s anthems that I don't think anybody hated. It will forever right. continue on. And there's so many people have done covers yeah. of it, too. Like, Creep is one of those, like, I, for some reason, everybody covers Creep. And it's a great song. It is, it is a great track. Um, but, yeah, we know that this guy is a phenomenal singer. And being on America's Got Talent is cool. It's, it's, a, it's very cool. You got you to gotta have some talent to even get on to America's Got Talent. Except right. for the, the, the little... Stupid ones that they'll shoehorn in there for laughs, etc. Exactly. I, I speaking of creep. I remember a woman doing creep on an episode of The Voice yeah. years and years and years ago, and I think it was close to the end. And it was stripped down. It was piano. It was her just singing. And and like the the way this song has been done so many different times um, is also cool. But I I'm excited for this one. Yeah, me too. Um. Oh, also apparently, uh, Mario from the Rise video also went to school with Scott and Mitch and Kirsten. <sighs> At least I'm pretty sure it was Scott. It was either Scott or, or Mario or Brian. Right. One of those, one either this guy or Mario. One of them also went to school with Pentatonix. Why is that not a surprise? I know, right? <laughs> God, they're, they must like recruit kids like from like other schools. Like, oh, this this eight year old can sing. You know, just amazing. Oh, we need him over here real quick. Right. Uh, ridiculous um but yeah no i'm excited uh yeah america's got talent's good little backstory and check out how good he is it would mean the world to get through the next round they can't take every single act there's a lot of singers in this competition that's really really funny. i always thought singers shouldn't win america's got talent there's only six they have other outlets. Right, exactly. You can yeah, go on The Voice. You can go on 9,000 other shows. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, give the magician a shot. Give the ventriloquist act a shot. Yeah, it's a great night of talent. Okay, guys. Last act. Last act coming right up. Hi. We Hi. meet again. It's good to be back. Just remind me, where are you from again? I, uh, I live yourself. in Los Angeles. And how old are you? I'm 28. Who are you here with tonight? I have my mom here. Over here! When you dream of being a singer, where do you see yourself? Well, I want people to feel things. On the when George I Lopez sing, show. That's the goal. I'm Brian Justin Crum. I'm 28. I'm a singer and I drive for a car service. Growing up, I was just so happy. I loved to sing. I would dance down the hallways. But, you know, I had a lot of hard times at school that won't scare me away I was overweight and I definitely knew from the time I was six or seven that I was gay that brought a lot of bullying my way in elementary school they would whisper behind his back that he was gay more middle school high school it was he'd walk by and someone would just call him a faggot that was really hard for him for that to happen 
I used to fall on my knees and pray for him. <laughs> That's what it was like. Kind of surprised to let him drop the hard F on NBC. Right. I thought, you know, maybe these kids aren't right about me. Maybe I am just like worthless. But my mom believed in me and gave me the confidence to be who I am. First audition went so well. And I got a standing ovation. It felt so amazing. You got four huge yeses. Congratulations. Thank you. America's Got Talent can change I forgot your Simon life. Cowell was a thing. And it just lit a fire. He's a nice guy these days. Good. Good for him. I'm going to take all the pain and everything that I went through and focus all of that into this performance. Great. Good luck. Wow. Did he win? I hope to God he did. I feel like he should have. That should be the golden buzzer. Holy hell. Is that in America's Got Talent? Yeah. Send it straight to the finales. When you go on a show like this and you've got two or three minutes, you've got to find your own lane. Because if you can turn a song into a performance, people remember you. And I think you just demonstrated that every time we've seen you, you've put on a performance, which for me is exciting. But it's actually quite breathtaking. You took your time and told us a story and then you exploded in the middle and to go from that big to then that small at the end of the song is genius in my eyes. Love you, love you, love you, you're great. You do give me the chills. 
gifts because you sing with so much passion. And I do, I feel it with you. I think you're one of the best singers we have on the show this season. You know, you said, you said that you want people to feel. But to choose a song and to sing it and to make people feel, and we, I, I think we all feel like we're creep and we're weirdos and we're different and I, you know, suffer from mental health issues and we always feel alone and then we find out we're not and we all belong here and it makes the world. And that was a wonderfully moving rendition. Perfect. That's all. Thank you. Wow. Yep. Wow, that was just incredible. That you can't see them, but I had goosebumps. Oh my god, I got goosebumps like three different times during that performance. Uh, yeah, his. Wow, we're gonna definitely have to do a lot more of this guy because that. Wow, I feel like if he would have won America's Got Talent, though, I would have heard about him. Right. Um. So I don't. Sadly, I don't think he did win. I don't know. I don't watch a lot of AGT. Um. I just want to go on record as saying that was the best thing I have watched on this channel. Yeah? Out of ev anything and everything that we've done, that right there is the single best performance that I have seen. Uh, I mean, we've, we've heard that there is a studio performance, if you guys really want to see us react to that too, but um, I, we hear it's longer, um, which is really cool, but to see that live like that... Mm -hmm. And I loved the uh, I loved the moment of like silence after he was done. Really, like everybody was just floored, and nobody was making any noise. You'd, and then people started to applaud. You didn't want to be that dick that was the first one to clap. Just You're like just, everyone was just so impressed. <laughs> just that was the biggest telling moment when everybody was just legitimately that speechless. That's incredible. I. Yeah, just wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I hope this guy got really far. I hope he got a record deal. I hope this guy's getting paid a lot of money yeah. to make his music because, <laughs> uh, and I know that's not the reason to be, you know, for your art. You know, nobody gets into art to make money. But right. that being said, though, like he's that good, I feel like he should just be showered with money, like Scrooge McDuck style. Because, uh, oh my God, that was awesome. And probably the biggest performance of his life, too, right. like up until that moment. Uh, national TV, you know, I want to make, I want a million dollars in a record deal. And even all that, all those butterflies in his stomach and everything, just bringing it and destroying it. It's it was just amazing. It was so hauntingly simple when it started out with just the piano and just him kind of floating into it. Like it was, it was haunting. That's the word I'm going to give it. And then, and then like, uh, the former Spice Girl had said, you know, you bring it back down and just end on that that somber, somber little outro and just wow, yeah, I I got nothing other than sheer admiration for that man and that performance. Yeah, that was incredible. That was absolutely good. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, recommending that uh, down in the comments. Do you have any other good Brian Just for Crumb songs performances we should take a look at? Feel free to let us know down there. We'll pop them on the list. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out. We'll see you next time.